7 Things You Didn't Know About Nell Tiger Free Nell Tiger Free's career is as unusual and ferocious as her middle name. At only 22 years of age, the British actress has already amassed enough credits to make her colleagues jealous. And they're not just from run-of-the-mill projects either. One of Free's first and most memorable appearances was on a show you may have heard of. That's right, she played Marcella Baratheon on Game of Thrones when she was only 15. Although that kind of achievement is hard to top, Free's career after that is not slowed down at all. Few actors her age can claim to have worked with directors as renowned as M. Night Shyamalan or everyone's favorite neon-loving filmmaker, Nicholas Winding Refn. Becoming so successful in such a short span of time is enough to make us wonder what Nell's secret is, so we look for the most interesting details of her life story. If you want to learn what turned her into one of Hollywood's most promising young stars, keep watching to find out 7 things you probably didn't know about Nell Tiger Free. While you're at it, remember to click on the like and subscribe buttons to show your support for this channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon too. If you do, you'll get a notification every time we have something new for you. We are constantly updating the channel with the latest news and fun facts on your favorite film, music, and TV stars, so you won't regret it. Number 7. Her name was supposed to be even stranger. Aside from her undeniable talents, one of the most attention-drawing things about Nell Tiger Free is obviously her name. So much so, in fact, that the creators of Free's latest series, Servant, might have been very consciously inserting a reference to it. Episode 5 of the third season is titled Tiger, and it even features the actress's face half-painted like the titular animal. Although Nell claims that the tiger face makeup was always part of the screenwriter's plan, she has admitted that they might have written into the show just to mess with her. Speaking of her name, it was actually going to be even more unusual than it is now. Her parents wanted Tiger to be her first name so that she would be known as Tiger Free. However, she was born on her grandfather Neil's birthday, so they decided to honor him by calling their daughter Nell and moving the Tiger to second place. We're well aware that it's easier to stand out in showbiz with a catchy name, but Tiger Free might have been a little too much. Number 6. She and Kira Knightley share a biographical fact. Despite all her impressive credits, one of Free's proudest achievements is having her name featured on a website. But it's not just any website. She's on the list of notable alumni on the Wikipedia entry for Teddington School, a southwest London college where Nell spent her formative years. Teddington School seems to be an institution just like any other, but it boasts yet another super famous British actress among its former students. Kira Knightley of Pride and Prejudice, Anna Karenina, and Pirates of the Caribbean fame. Although Free says the critically acclaimed period drama leading lady wasn't an inspiration for her, many other students chose to write Kira Knightley's name on their textbooks, pretending they were using a secondhand book from the star performer herself. Come to think of it, future students at Teddington will probably be writing Nell Tiger Free's name soon, if they aren't doing it already. Number 5. Kicked out of her school musical and punished to set an example. Given the Kira Knightley connection, you might think that the staff at Teddington School would be used to noticing talent when they see it. But Nell Tiger has confessed that academic life stifled her interest in drama. And not only that, but she was also kicked out of the school musical, a stage production of Back to the 80s. Which is weird considering that she had already played Marcella Baratheon on Game of Thrones. It seems the reason behind Free's conflict with Teddington came from her tendency to wear her skirts too short. Her reputation as a young actress meant that all the kids knew her, so teachers would punish her to set an example to other students. Her promising career certainly didn't help her. When she cried due to being kicked out, the musical director claimed that she was just using her skills to turn on the waterworks. Well, at least the gentleman was right about Free's talent. Number 4. She was scouted by an agent when she was only 11 years old. Free has become a star in a very short time, which would take a lot of dedication and commitment to the average aspiring actor. By now, you probably know that she's anything but average. Nell Tiger never really planned to become a professional performer. She admits she basically fell into acting after being scouted at a Saturday drama club when she was 11. She successfully auditioned for her first film, Mr. Stink, with no prior experience. To this day, Free claims that acting in the movie proved to be the best masterclass she could have hoped for, and the rest of the cast taught her how to behave on set. She must have been a fast learner because her acting on the movie enabled her to get picked up by a bigger agency. The first audition with them was for Game of Thrones, and the rest is TV history. Number 3. 
Jamie Lannister eased off her pressure on Game of Thrones. Performing on one of the biggest TV shows in the history of the medium can't be easy, especially if you're only a teenager. Reminiscing about her time on Game of Thrones, Free says that she was very much still a child when her breakthrough happened. She felt the pressure that entering such a celebrated series entailed. She was especially nervous about her final scene, where stakes were high. Thankfully, she found the support of none other than Jamie Lannister. She credits actor Nikolai Coster Waldo for helping make her comfortable during the scene, which enabled her to do her best work she could. But how to work under pressure wasn't the only thing she learned on the GOT set. When her role in the fantasy drama TV series ended, she got a much-needed reality check. After being cast, Free thought she had made it in the industry, but she was straight back into the audition room. That made her realize becoming successful takes effort and patience, virtue she's still applying on her current role on Servant. Number 2. She plays in a bedroom pop band called Your Parents Now Tiger has an undeniable knack for the performing arts, so it wasn't surprising to find out that she's also passionate about music. Her interest in the musical arts in effect predates her passion for acting. When she was 7 years old, she was chosen to sing at the end of the school concert. Her rendition of I Dreamed a Dream from Les Mis was a success, and she has gone on singing to this day. For now, Free is keeping the music thing as a side gig, although it has been getting more serious recently. She is in a bedroom pop rock band called Your Parents along with two other friends. They have already released their first single, Versions of Evil, and they plan to deliver their first EP soon. If the rest of Nell's career is any indication, Your Parents will be a smashing success. No, not Your Parents. You know what we mean. Number 1. She's a devoted breakfaster and pub crawler and a bad dancer. Although singing and writing music is her go-to creative outlet, Nell has plenty other hobbies for whatever spare time she finds. She enjoys cooking and has a very specific favorite breakfast, spinach and mushroom on toast with baked beans and hash browns. She goes out of her way to find that breakfast when en route, so now you know what to serve her if you ever meet her. It's a pretty healthy option, which is definitely what you need before and after hanging out at the pub. Over a couple of interviews, Free has admitted that she loves drinking with her mates, aside other more questionable hobbies like annoying her sister by stealing her clothes. Now Tiger Free sounds like quite the partygoer, but don't expect her to show off at the club. According to herself, she's a terrible dancer. She even had to take choreography lessons for a scene in episode 4 of Servant, and she confessed the experience was like boot camp for her. Hopefully, those classes help her take what she's learned on set and apply it on the dance floor. That was our countdown to the 7 things you didn't know about multi-talented rising star Nell Tiger Free. If you think something skipped our radar, don't be shy and share it with us. Go ahead and show us what you've got by leaving a comment below. While you're at it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to show your support. Remember to hit the bell icon too, that way you'll get a notification every time there's new content available for you. We work hard to bring you the latest news on your favorite film, music, and TV stars, so you'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching, and see you soon!